Hi, I'm Buzz Lagos. After summer hiatus, we're back with the analysis. Before this weekend, Minnesota went unbeaten in four games. With the six points they earned, they strengthened their hold on the fourth and final playoff position. The home match against OKC was an important one, and they came away with the three points with a 1-0 victory. We'll look at the goal by Christian Ramirez to guarantee that win, and then we'll look at Minnesota's next opponent, the Cosmos. Let's go to that monitor. Just get the ball down and get it hit on goal. Here's Lance Lang. Around Kamora. Lance Lang to the end line. Watson heads it down. Ramirez! Off the crossbar and in! one nothing from Minnesota United! Minnesota's at home against OKC, and they've come off a good stretch of, of good defensive games, a couple 0-0 ties. Now they're at home, and they really need three points. And it's toward the end of the first half, and they've been putting pressure on OKC. So Pitch gets his head up. You know, he's got Jamie Watson for a shorter pass. He decides that the longer penetrating pass, finding J.C. Banks. And J.C. hits a wonderful first-time pass to Ibsen. And look at the little glance that Ibsen takes as the ball's going over his shoulder. That's what good midfielders do. They look around, see what's going on, and he realizes that oh, I could play it back, but I'm gonna, I think Lance Lang is wide open behind me. And gets the ball, controls it, turns quickly, and gets the ball wide to Lance Lang. Now notice Lance's left foot first touch at the defender. Notice he's getting inside and drawing the defender inside. He's got the defender kind of a square feet. Look at the position of his body. If he can lift that ball up over the defender's foot, he's got a chance to use his explosive speed and get by him. And notice the left foot lifts it up over the foot of that defender and races to the end line. Now what's happening off the ball? Lance is going toward that end line. We see Christian attacking goal, Banks up the middle of the field, and uh, Jamie Watson getting out to the far post. Look at the strong run by Lance Lang. His touch a little bit away from the goal, looks a little awkward. He's able to face the goal line, have his body kind of parallel to the goal line, and still whip a left footed cross in. So watch, he continues on, and he continues out of bounds. The keeper, Fernandez, gets a little touch on it, and barely tips it over Christian Ramirez's head, but look who's there, Jamie Watson, far post area. Now, the ball coming to Jamie Watson, I'd say many times forwards will try to, midfielder will try to whack a shot on goal, hit a volley, do something, get, get some, some action happen. But Jamie just sees Christian open a bit, that bouncing ball with the header, gets it to his goal scorer. No, look, the defender is trying to close quickly, and notice the way his body leans away from the ball. Tough skill again for a forward. Notice his concentration, watching that ball, eyes right on it. And that's how he's to strike the middle of the ball, and he gets it perfectly with power and what accuracy. Upper corner, great goal by Chris Ramirez to give Minnesota a 1-0 lead in a very important match. And those was a timely goal just before halftime. From a coaching perspective, you like to score those goals just before halftime going into the locker room. Now let's look at Minnesota's next opponent, the New York Cosmos. More and more dangerous. They are from New York Cosmos. Yes. We were just talking about how Fort Lauderdale had controlled the last 15 minutes, or minutes 55 to 70. Now New York has really, again, put their foot on the gas. Kasana. Across the area it goes, and... Uh, well done. New York is playing at Fort Lauderdale, and they are in the second half, midway through the second half, and again, trying to get points, and New York's been a hot team, been scoring goals, and uh, the ball falls to Moffat's feet, on the right flank and a typical change of direction play. Idea between behind knocking it wide is just kind of stretching that defense out. So Mendez looks wide and finds Mulligan wide and Mulligan gets his head up. And now notice what happens is when Guinzati in the in another wide position, he played in Guinzati, but Guinzati makes that strong run inside. And in doing so, he opens up a channel to see Kosana making a diagonal run into that corner. Mulligan plays into him and and Kosana feels the defender on his back, decides to make a quick little left foot touch forward, racing around the defender in that space. He doesn't even look to know where Mulligan is. And this is where teams just start to know each other as the season goes along. And he just senses that Mulligan's going to make a strong run right by those two Fort Lauderdale defenders. So he just lays kind of a blind pass into that space, and Mulligan just explodes onto it. Gets a touch forward. Orango senses opportunity to seize space to run into. 
because now the defender for Fort Lauderdale has to go to Mulligan, opening up the channel for Arango and the Bulls. Wonderful pass by Mulligan to Arango. Arango has that first time left foot shot. Just can't get the power and accuracy he wants on it. Just it on goal, but right at the keeper, kind of soft. And uh, what a chance for New York, but it came from an incredible good sequence of play. We're going to see this kind of talent in this attack this Saturday night when Minnesota travels to New York. Next week, we'll look at a highlight from the Minnesota Cosmos game. And then we'll preview the Loons' next opponent, the Ottawa Fury.